Nine o'clock. Our driver did well. It took barely an hour to get here from Lausanne. But we must conclude our business in one hour as well. Book can only hold the train until 11 o'clock. One hour to find the key of Ratchet safety deposit box, the box number, and its passcode. A lot to ask. Indeed. Which is why we must split our forces. I will take the cab to Monsieur Wadi's address. You must search his office. I have you on speed dial. And thank you, Mr. Poirot. For what, mademoiselle? For trusting me. Shiny facial hair. The good news is that it's gold. You there. I have an appointment with Mr. Wadi. Let me check. I'm sorry, I don't see any appointments this morning at all. Mr. Wadi hasn't even arrived yet. Although he should be here by now. Even though your customers are anonymous, considering the amount of money involved, you should still have a mention of a meeting. Yes, I can't understand it. I'll be sure to ask Mr. Wadi when he arrives. In the meantime, you are more than welcome to wait in his office. I see you're not disturbed. Please follow me. I can't understand where Mr. Wadi might be. You're right. I don't have much time at all. I've earned a gold mustache. Time is not on my side. It's closed. Alice in Wonderland, again. Mr. Wadi seems to have really liked this book. A souvenir tower of Babel. Mm, makes sense. We know that Mr. Wadi is from Iraq, and the ancient tower is said to have been built there. I need the password. Maybe Poirot can help me. I 
I'm taking a picture of it. I'll send it to Poirot. It might be useful to him. I managed to get into Wadi's office. I did a quick preliminary search. Everything is locked, including his computer. All I could find was a photo with a date on it. I just sent it to you. Maybe you can use it. Thank you. That might help. I've just arrived at the apartment. I'll call you when I find something. As quick as you can. I can't stay here long. This is definitely not Monsieur Wadi's apartment. Ah, here we are. Let's see if the key I picked up in Monsieur Wadi's luggage in Venice will open his door. Great! Another golden moustache to treasure. A dart. A familiar projectile found in any pub in England. The key to the password is close. I can feel it. I think this belongs here. That may be useful to Mademoiselle Locke or me. I'll take a photo. Ah. 
Staring at the clock won't help, wow. Mm, this computer won't give up its secret easily. A Swiss and Arabic keyboard. Who are you? What are you doing in there? I am Hercule Poirot. I am working with the police. You are Monsieur Wadi's neighbor? Uh, yes, next door. I heard a noise. I thought it was Mr. Wadi who had come home. I don't know him very well. A delivery man left a package for him with me. You don't know your neighbor very well. Yes, what of it? How is it that Monsieur Wadi has a picture of you on his desk? There is quite a family resemblance. You wouldn't be his brother by any chance. Why are you going through his things? As I told you, I am working with the police. All right, yes. I'm his brother. Mehdi Wadi. Do you know where he is? I am very sorry, sir, but I have some terrible news for you. Your brother has been murdered. You have my sincere condolences. Oh no. Aziz. My wife. My son. Their hearts will break. Everything he did was for his family. He brought us here from Iraq to give my son a better future. We can't go back. You won't. You won't. Do not fret, Monsieur Wadi. I do not want to cause trouble for you and your family. I am here to catch his murderer. When did you last see your brother? Two days ago. He was on his way to Venice. It was not a journey he was looking forward to. I knew something was wrong, but he promised all would be well soon. My son will be heartbroken. Aziz made the point of reading to Fadi every night so he could learn English. We hope to legally emigrate there one day. Your son, Fadi. What did Monsieur Wadi read to him? His favorite book is Alice in Wonderland. The nonsense of it all. <laughs> Why? It is the answer to a question I had. I believe your brother was a good man, forced for some reason to keep secrets, and that got him killed. Sir... There is something else. Aziz left me a letter to open if anything should happen to him. Could you show it to me? Yes, I, I will get it. Mm, it all makes sense. It's horrific. But to Ratchet, it would be just business as usual. At least I have Ratchet's account number. 82664 Thank you for giving me this letter. Let me assure you, the man Ratchet cannot harm you. He was killed before your brother was. Really? Who did it? The one you say hunted Ratchet? Yes, without a doubt. I promise you, I will find them. Sir, we have no papers. The police... Your secret is safe with me, monsieur. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Now, I must go to my wife and son. Tonight, I will read to Fadi from Alice in Wonderland, and we will remember my brother. I need to notify Mademoiselle Locke that I have Ratchet's bank account number. Ah, the peculiar habit some people have of displaying things on the door of their refrigerator. I've just sent a photo to you, in case it might help you. Thank you. I texted Ratchet's account number to you. Wonderful.
Mr. Poirot, how are you doing? I have little to report, but keep looking. Hmm, a bizarre endgame to be sure, but I suspect checkmate is possible for white in three moves. Let's see. Fantastic. My little gray cells did not let me down. This could be the password to Monsieur Wadi's office computer. He must change it every month. It seems to have a logical sequence, but I need to find the one for December. If that's the password to the computer in Monsieur Wadi's office, we still need to translate the Arabic characters. And there weren't any Arabic characters on the office computer's keyboard. We need to find out which keys these Arabic characters correspond to on a Swiss keyboard with its Latin characters like the one in Monsieur Wadi's office. That was easy. Staring at the clock won't help, Wow. Hmm, this computer won't give up its secrets easily. 
This keyboard should help me translate this code. Arabic is read from right to left, so the password must surely be read that way too. With any luck, this will unlock the computer in Monsieur Wadi's office. Let me text it to Miss Locke. I'm right again. That happens to me a lot. Did you receive my text? This must be the password to Mr. Wadi's computer. I have it. Thank you. It's password. Here it is. The detective gets it right. I wonder if it will fit the desk drawer. Those indentations are from the sheet of the notepad that was on top. This is great. 
all those mystery movies I watched as a kid. I know what to do. I'll send a picture of this to Poirot. Ratchet's safety deposit box. At last, I should let Mr. Poirot know. I sent you a photo of doodles I found on a notepad. I hope it can help you. I hope so as well. I was able to access Mr. Wadi's computer. I have Ratchet's safety deposit box number. Excellent. I think I've discovered Ratchet's safety deposit box passcode. Well done, Mademoiselle Locke. It looks like a safe key to me. We finally found it. Good news. I have found the key to Ratchet's safe. Perfect. We're running out of time. Do we have everything? I have the key to the safety deposit box. I have the number of the box. And we have the passcode. I'm on my way. Time to rob a bank. Sorry to keep you waiting. I haven't heard from Monsieur Wadi. You'll have to reschedule with him. This is quite annoying. I'll have to reschedule. Absolutely. I... I hope I have been of service. You have no idea. That was fast. We do this as planned? Yes, I am, Monsieur Ratchet. But with the bank's questionable policy, I do not expect anyone to ask. Right. Absolute secrecy regarding their clients, the last Swiss bank of its kind. Madame, I still haven't heard from Mr. Wadi. Well, we'll have to make do without him, now that my friend is here. It's his box we want to access. And the clock is ticking. I trust there is no problem. No, no problem at all. May I have your safety deposit box number? 4346. May I see your key? Do you know your passcode? Yes. Mademoiselle will be able to accompany me. No names, of course. Of course. I'll open the door. Go down the stairs. The guard will accompany you. Please leave your personal belongings in this bin and then go through the portal. I'll open it for you.
I'll insert my key when you're ready. At last, we reach our goal. Now, I will insert my key, if you allow. Thank you. I'll be by the door should you need any assistance. At last! I suspect the effort will be worth it. This collection of various personal items. Do you know what they are, Detective Locke? I do, Mr. Poirot. God help me, I do. Souvenirs. The trophies serial killers take from their victims to remind them of their kills. Ratchet wasn't just a kidnapper. No, indeed. He was a monster. Another victim. MC. The real journalist Michael Clark. Ratchet would have needed to kill him to assume his identity. He took this ring as his trophy. Another trophy. A woman. We may never know her name. You were lucky, mademoiselle, when you met him at that cabin in the forest, alone. How many victims do you think Ratchet had? Too many. Another trophy. We may never know how many people he killed. He knew the serial numbers on the banknotes could be traced. The rest of the Armstrong ransom money. The serial numbers match. The one on the left. Ratchet. Whoever he is with, their friendship seems over. The build. The hair. It could be Noah, his partner in Daisy's kidnapping. It appears they had a falling out. I wonder who this keychain belonged to. Certainly not Ratchet. Another bracelet. Another victim. Another trophy. And then there's the one that we already found. Suzanne's red glasses. Diamonds. A fortune. Crime does pay. No, mademoiselle. This time it was the criminal who finally paid. For every soul Ratchet claimed, even more are suffering. Four years of investigation. It's all over. I finally have the last piece of evidence that Ratchet was Daisy's kidnapper and murderer. More than that, you have helped unmask a serial killer responsible for so many deaths. But even with all this, we're no closer to solving Ratchet's murder. On the contrary, mademoiselle, everything, it is coming together. Don't you agree, detective? What? The damaged photograph. 
It could be Noah. You think Noah killed Ratchet for revenge? The train. What about the train? I know how a killer could vanish without leaving a trace in the snow. Wings? Camouflage. The trophies. Poirot? We have a train to catch. Not just a train, Detective Locke. We have a murderer to catch. <laughs>